the graphs of fx which is equal to 2 over 3 to the power of x minus 3 over 2 and gx which is given as ax squared plus bx plus c are sketched below okay here we go here's our two sketches there we can see g and here we can see is f exponential function b and c so there's b and c uh, c's coordinates are given are the y-intercepts of the graph of f and g respectively so f's y-intercept is b and g's y-intercept is c the two graphs intersect at a so they cut each other at a there we see which is the turning point of g so g turns at a as well um, of g and the x-intercept of f and g so a is on the x-intercept or on the x-axis and it is the x-intercept of both f and of g so let's go look at the questions the first question determine the following coordinates the coordinates of a okay, and the coordinates of b the y-intercept okay so we can see that a is the turning point of g but we have no information about g really okay and it's also the x-intercept for f i think that is a much easier thing to work with because we know that the x-intercept is where the y value is equal to zero so we'll make it equal to zero zero is equal to 2 over 3 to the power of x minus 3 over 2. So we should solve for x. Let's just first solve for the base. Let's get the base and exponent on their own. So we take, we add a 3 over 2 on both sides. So we get 3 over 2 is equal to 2 over 3 to the power of x okay now we can take the other side to also be 2 over 3 all we need to do is to give the exponent a negative so instead of having an exponent of 1 we give it an exponent of negative 1 and that means that if these two sides are the same and the base is the same as that base then surely the exponents must then be the same so we see that x is equal to negative 1 so let's put in that information that's now a for a which is the x intercept for the exponential function x is negative 1 and y is equal to 0 okay, what about b let's go and see b b is the y intercept so if we have fx equal to 2 over 3 to the power of x minus 3 over 2 the y-intercept is where x is equal to 0 in other words we have what will be the y value if x is 0 well any base with an exponent of 0 will be 1 minus 3 over 2 is 1 and a half so we get this answer is 0 negative 0 comma 5 so entering that answer this time x is 0 and y is negative 0 comma 5 right. wrong it's 0 0.5 sorry